Let's say you want one of your Mac computers to show up on your other Mac computer as an external hard drive. Today I'm going to show you how to use target disk mode to make one of your Macs show up as an external hard drive. Before I get started, take a moment to subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more how-to videos. Now there are a couple ways to put your Mac into target disk mode. The first thing you need to do is connect both your computers together with either a Firewire or a Thunderbolt cable. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable and connect one end to my MacBook Pro and the other end to my iMac. Just like that. Now I'm ready to enable target disk mode on one of these machines. Now I'm going to enable it on my iMac so my iMac's hard drive shows up as an external hard drive on my MacBook Pro. On my iMac, I'm gonna to go to the Apple menu, then System Preferences, and click on Startup Disk. You'll see a button that says Target Disk Mode. Click on it. Then click Restart. The computer will then restart into Target Disk Mode, and the iMac will display a hard drive icon on the screen. On my MacBook Pro, a new hard drive will appear as an external drive, and boom, there's my iMac's hard drive, and you can now start moving files back and forth. The other way to enter target disk mode is to restart your computer, and before it starts up, press and hold down the T key. The computer will boot into target disk mode and become a new external hard drive on your connected computer. This is very simple and very helpful for sharing files between computers without using an external hard drive that you have to upload and then download files. It's a straight shot from one computer to the other, there's no middleman. Now to eject the iMac from the MacBook Pro, you simply drag and drop the hard drive into the trash and it will disconnect. Or you can right click on the drive and select eject. On the iMac I used as an external disk, to turn off and end target disk mode, you simply push the power button to shut it down and then disconnect the cable. Now this is great for sharing files between computers or adding extra disk space if you need it. Maybe there's a project you wanna to transfer to a more mobile computer or something like that. I've also used this method when I was having trouble with my iMac and it wouldn't boot up, and I needed to retrieve some important documents off the busted machine. Now it's worth mentioning that if you have Mac OS Big Sur installed, you will need to use the Thunderbolt 3 cable to make the connection, because Firewire will no longer work. Firewire won't work anymore for target disk mode on Mac OS Big Sur. It's also worth mentioning that target disk mode on the new Apple Silicon Macs is way different. I've included a link to the Apple support page on how to do that process in the description of this video. If and when we get an Apple Silicon Mac for how to do it all, we will make a video on how to do that process. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more helpful how-to videos, and check out our related video on how to network two Apple computers together with an Ethernet connection for sharing files and playing games. And thanks for watching.